Welcome to the After Coffee Show with your host, Antonio Newton of the Newton Group. Today's honored guest and retired Marine, Herb Braxton. Hi, my name is Antonio Newton, your local realtor with the Newton Group at Colwell Banker, and welcome to After Coffee. After Coffee is our interview series where we take time out to interview past clients, uh, lenders, and people in the community so you can have an inside scoop on what's going on. And today, I have the privilege of interviewing Mr. Herb Braxton. He's a past client. We just closed on this lovely home that we're sitting in um, in January. And so we just got a few questions for Herb about the process, about what it was like. Um, he is a veteran, so we're going to talk some about that. Um, so how are you doing today, Herb? I'm wonderful. By the grace of God, I'm wonderful. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Um, so before we get into everything, just take a minute and tell the, tell the people about, about Herb and who you are. Yes, I'm a native of Columbia, born, raised here, high school, uh, came out of high school. I went into the military, as you said, a veteran, uh, the United States Marine Corps, to be exact. Did two tours. Ooh, bro. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> and I, I uh, pursued my dream. Okay. So what was your dream? My, my dream was to become a retired military person and to own my own business. And I'm a little bit of a risk taker, so I, you know, I invest in certain things that may may win and may lose. So right. That's life. That's, <laughs> that's investment, life, right? right? That's investment. That's right. But um, uh, like I said, education here in Booker T. Washington High School and Columbia High Schools. Um, went to Midland Technical College. Um, a lot of things going on that in my lifetime. Um, I want to be proactive in the community or doing what's right. You know, the absurd, yes, sir. The 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 the, the, the humane things. We see what's going on, but that's a whole nother issue. But of course, being a veteran, stepping up to the plate, serving God and serving country, serving my family, and we are my family is dwindling down. But hey, that's life. Right. You know, we roll with the punches. God created us, and He takes us. So I, you know, I want to just say, you know, I'm very, very, very at ease right now. Good, good. Yes, sir. Well, being at ease and peace, I think, you know, that helps to the enjoyment of life, however long we're on this earth for. Um, you know, I, I obviously I had the, the pleasure of working with you. Um, fantastic. So um, accommodating, you know, whatever we ask for. So if you don't mind, I'd just like to ask you a little bit about the process and what it was like on, on your end going through it. So w was this the first home that you purchased? Uh, actually, no, sir. Okay. Um, I uh, um, married and divorced. God bless us. <laughs> but um, my first home I bought out of the military when I came, got out of the Marine Corps back in the 70s. Uh, worked, worked as a fireman at that time, but step like I say, dreams, you follow your dreams. That's right. and, um, I bought a home out in Old Friars Gate, prestigious neighborhood. I was probably the youngest kid on the block, but God blessed me like that. So, okay. and like I say, we win some, we lose some. So, every day to me, when I wake up, I'm a winner. That's right. Okay, I'm a winner. It, it, it's day. better to be seen than viewed, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, God, God has been graciously um, blessing me day by day. And, you know, I don't have to elevate or get out and shout on the street corners, which we should do. But this is a miracle. Every day we wake up is a miracle. You know, and I'm very much aware of that. And uh, but um, the transition going from military life to civilian life, um, it has its toes. We done been through a lot of issues or circumstances and situations. Whereas to if we we reason things out, things, things out. We're not animals. We're able to reason mm -hmm. things out, think for ourselves. We, we, we understand knowledge. Right. It's wisdom. Okay, and I, I've been that way all my life. My grandmother and my mother taught me that um, all my life. It's, it's if you go want anything, 
if you need it, God gonna provide it. But if you want it, let's go to work. <laughs> let's go to work. And go let's get go to work. It. Well, you wanted a house, I'm, and, I and you went to work, <laughs> and you got it. it. Yes, sir. So, in that want, what was the process like for you? Like, how long? How long did you start the process? Because I know we was talking for a while, and there were some things that we were kind of waiting on. But just tell them a little bit about the process from your end on when you started looking, when you got more serious, when you contacted the realtor. How that? How that process looked for you? Well, uh, you know, when you when you consider buying a home, a house, um, it's uphill battle. We got to deal with financial institutions, realtors, all business agencies around the city, state, God knows whatever else is out there. And then we had um, so much going on, things that try to deter you, uh, throw you a curveball, in other words, and try to make you feel like you're not worthy of it or able to get to what what really you need to get to. That solid foundation, that's something I've always had in me. I've always been family-oriented, and, and, and I tease me a lot. I tell her, I say, I don't like bad kids, even the big ones, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I really, you know, but I tell her, because we know better. From the ripe old age of two, you know, when we're growing up, right. mama say, don't do that. We learn a lesson from that. Yes, when she say don't, that means leave it alone right. and, and so on. But as you grow older, and um, you know, I'm not going to be peripheral about anything, but God wrote those words in, in the book of Proverbs. Train up a child in, right. in the way we should go. And when we get, become older, we won't stray from it. We will not stray from that path. Yes, sir. Right. And I believe in that with all my heart. And there's the, the whole the whole shebang, but, you know, the understanding, like I told him, I say it, sometimes I say it jokingly, but when you go into reading contracts and I told him, I say, I can't see like I used to. So I got to get a big magnifying glass and <laughs> get a big best. And you magnifying. did read every yeah, contract, I got, I tried every to word. Get every little dot, little, oh, color, yeah. little space in there and sit down on the computer. If I don't understand it, I, it, it, it defines it for me. And um, and I still, you know, I, I got time. I say, with a lot of people say downtime. I said, no, my time is always up. I'm always doing something. I don't care if it's one or two, three o'clock in the morning. I'm up doing something pro- productive. Co- productive and constructive. Yes, sir. Um, it's it's just it's 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 part of my my heresy, my 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 family. Your nature, yeah. Yes, sir. My nature. My is it? That's my mom's. That's my mom's and me and my dad. Um, they both gone on into glory, and um, and and that's what he's telling us. You know, when I'm I'm coming for my, I'm coming for a church, and a lot of people get it misconstrued. It they think he's coming from the building. We are that church. He's coming back for us. One we don't know the hour, but he's coming for us. So in the mean meantime, in the meanwhile, I you know I want to try to build something, a legacy. Or something to, along to help my family along the way. Okay. Yeah. Bottom line. And this was part of that legacy, this, this getting, is, a, getting a home, being yes, able sir. to purchase that. Yes, sir. Okay. So with, with you being a veteran, were you able to use your VA loan? Yes, sir. I did. They backed me on both loans, the, the older home and this one. And um, But, you know, like I said, you have to be patient. If you don't have the patience to deal with um, business, uh, pers- people, um, if you're not, you know, you're not in tune to, re- like you said earlier, about knowing what you want when you go after it. And I knew what I wanted when I went after it. First of all, I said, peace. <laughs> peace from above. You know, I don't want anything else. I don't need no distraction. Oh, excuse, excuse. Mm. Uh, they call it, they call it spam. Excuse me. <laughs> Well, my uh, the same person must be calling us because my phone just went off too. It just went off too. Okay, they're probably looking for the same thing. They're looking for M O N E Y. That's um, right. <laughs> I turn this thing off because that is distracting. Um, I hate that, but and I forgot all about it. I normally do. It normally turns it off. Uh, yeah, let me turn it on. Let me get. Yeah, yeah, it's on. Um, yeah, we we got to stay in touch. Power off. Yeah, we gotta stay in touch with everything. I'll be there. Let me stay in touch with God. He's gonna—he the one that gonna guide me through the day. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And uh, you know, we uh, 
we gotta persevere. We gotta we gotta keep pressing pressing forward. You know, in life. You know, I heard my granddaddy say something before he died, and it was years. I was, and it stuck with me. I was a little kid, a little, I was a little bad kid too. <laughs> but he said, um, he said, whatever you whatever you do to others, it'll come back to you. Right. And I and I didn't figure it out till years later, you know. And he said, in other words, he said, respect everybody around you, no matter who they are or what they think they are. Respect everybody. It'll go a long way. Man, it'll get you where money won't. That's what my parents used to always tell me. They're wise, wise people. Mm -hmm. So, so when 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 um when you were going through the home buying process, what's something that you wish you knew? And maybe was a challenge or difficult or maybe made you a little more anxious or anxiety or was something that you would change about the home buying process? Well, you know, I, I look at purchasing or buying anything, especially a home, that's a major purchase. Um, don't be discouraged. OK, you know, you know exactly what you want. I know what I want and I still I, I, I want a lot. But I need did you get what you want? Uh, partially. OK. It's a working process right okay. now. Okay, I never, I'm never gonna quit. I'm never gonna just lay down on the side of the road and say that's it, game's over. No. Well, in terms of a house, did you oh, get what you wanted in this, the home? This is one of the homes that I I did. I say because the spacious is um it's almost self contained and maintained. I do I do my part to keep it up. Right, and um, it looks great in here, yeah, by the way. Well, yeah, thank you, sir. And uh, I. Uh, you know, people talk about, oh, you're so, you're so tidy, daddy, you're so neat. I say, all right, now go back. Another um, phrase out of the Bible say, cleanliness is close to godliness. So if God is in me, so I'm going to start to stay as clean as I possibly can. Not perfect, but stay, stay close to it. That's right. That's right. So how, how did you know this was the house for you? I came off the beaten path, Mr. Newton, yourself. You, 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 we read around for quite a while, and we looked at certain houses. We went through the finances and da-da-da, you know. And, and I looked at one home out in Elgin, I think it was, and um, it, uh, the regime fee or the homeowner association want more than the house payment. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. It wasn't quite that it bad, but bad. I got yeah, you. I got okay. you. It, it was, it was, a, but it was gonna have a pool and stuff. But right. it, yeah, it, it was a, a significant amount. Yes, sir. And I wanted, you know, I wanted something that's affordable and uh, accommodating to my income plus whatever I can, you know, work out, you know, right. in the future. But um, the uh, I don't, I don't, uh, yard work, I just left my old home. Uh, like in the summertime, 105 degrees, uh, yeah, they would have push more or ride more. You know, that get old when she get up in the age, you know. So I had a yard guy come out, you know, do my yard work every now and then, well, every two weeks or so. But it, 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 takes, it takes that finances to keep the things going and keep it up in order, you know. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that. Um, and they, they think, oh, you got a house, but what's behind that house? Right. Wow, man. So talk a little bit more about that because, you know, I try to be as transparent as possible about the home buying process and there's work involved. Even once you get the house, you got to maintain it. Yard work, as you just mentioned. Right. So talk a little bit about some things behind the house that, you know, first time home buyer or someone you, you had bought a house before, so you kind of knew, but something that they may not know about or may not anticipate. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a solid um, responsibility. I mean, you got to be responsible. I mean, Agreed. bottom line, you know. And I've just I just got this new mortgage in uh, the mortgage company. They gave me you know, a little minor stuff, you know, but uh, I just kind of I take everything with a grain of salt, sort of speaking. OK, you know, I knew I knew what I did. I did my part on my end. Right. So I'm waiting on companies, mortgage company, banks or whatever to clear, you know, because I say the only smart way to go is do everything electronically. If you can have it there before the due date. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and which I, you know, that, and I, I've always say, I may not be one step ahead of you, but I want to be abreast with you. Right. So if something go down and something go wrong, uh, I'm the man to come to. Just like I hope you're the man I can go to. That's right. You know, that's right. That's the way it is. I mean, that's fair. That's fair for your business, fair business tree. I mean, 
What more can you ask for? Exactly. You know, I see, you know, I'm not going to take you around the world, but I've gone into countries where people live in trees, live in huts, live in the cave, live in, I mean, you know, way below, but we couldn't, we couldn't survive like some of the people in this world. Right. Okay. I'm telling you that right now. I I need my amenities. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I need my running water and stuff, yes, you know. Yes, and I and I see that's why I'm I'm so appreciative, right, for what what the Lord has done for me, and what He's doing for me, and I hope what He's going to do for me. Mm-hmm. See, like I said, the, the game's not over, right? Okay. Speaking about that, um, I got just a few more questions. So you said the game's not over. What's your next goal? What's your next plan? You know, I'm gonna use these two words in distinctively uh, wants and needs. I want a lot. I need what God provide for me. The shelter, food, health, you know, even with the wealth. Your health go down, the wealth is not going to do you any good. My granddaddy and my grandmother used to say, uh, I haven't seen a, a U-Haul truck behind a hearse yet. <laughs> You know, that's old country folks saying, you know, (laughs) you can't take this stuff with you. You can't take it with you. Okay, but you can leave your family members or your loved ones in a better shape and hope. I always said this when I was when I was over. I say, get out of debt, stay out of debt if you can. But don't obligate yourself to something that, you know, four, five, ten years down the road, you're going to be like hitting a wall, running into a wall. Cause we see how things are changing out here. They they changing as we speak. Right. Okay. And I'm very much aware of that. And I want to make sure. Don't think just buying a house is buying a house with the down payment, da 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 da, firm, whatever it takes to go into the home or the house. Um. Be committed. Agreed. I, I'm 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 a hundred thousand percent behind that. You know, and that's why I say I get a a little antsy every now and then with folks because. I come off some wrong sometimes, just like they come off wrong. And I'm like, yeah, uh, back up. Let's start at page one. Let's start, let's start this over there. Hello, my name is Herbert Braxton. Then we can be on the same note. Right. We're on the same, we're in, we're in the same, we're in the same universe, in other words. You know, because um, I don't, I never took myself to be better than anybody else or anything else. But I know one thing for sure. No one can interrupt what God is doing for me and my dreams and my goals and my life. No one else, nothing in the universe, nothing but God Almighty himself that created me. And I'm going to stick to that to the day they fold the flag over me and blow taps. Well, I just want to thank you so much yes, for sir. allowing us to interview you today. Yes, um, I think it gotta, gotta, people got to see more about who you are. And throughout the process and how, like you said, it's work, you need to be committed, but it's something that's certainly attainable, even if you've had some challenges before in your life or what have you. Um, so thank you so much. Yes, Is there any last parting words you want to say before before I give you back your afternoon? Okay. Well, yes, sir. I would say um, keep the faith. Keep the faith. I think that's a good way. I think that's a good way because, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's not an always easy process. Right. You know, and like you said, you can only do so much. We can only do so much. Exactly. But once we put our best foot forward, then we got to do that and then live with the results. Yes, sir. And as you can see, mm-hmm. the results will pay off. And this is not the end. It's not the end. You know, <laughs> sometimes you need some patience, but it right. always pays right. off. Right, right. It's so, a virtue. That's a virtue. We that's right. A that's virtue. right. So yes, thank sir. you so much. Yes, sir, brother. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you all for watching today's episode of After Coffee. Uh, you can catch all of our After Coffee episodes on our YouTube channel at Antonio Newton, Antonio Newton Realtor. Um, thank Mr. Braxton again. And if you if you have any questions um, or want to know more about the home buying process or if you're a veteran and you want to know if you got a VA loan or your eligibility or anything like that, let us know and we can get you to the right person and the right resources. So thank you so much and have a great day. You've been watching After Coffee with Antonio Newton of the Newton Group at Caldwell Banker. After Coffee is a hyperlocal show interviewing hyperlocal businesses and people in the greater Columbia area. After Coffee, it's love hyperlocally. Okay, oh, that'd be uh, about one hundred five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I got to write an I, you, buddy. <laughs>